This week I'm giving you tips as to what to do in Mauritius. Gonna have to interrupt this vlog right here, right now, because we've got a bit of bad news, and that is that Mauritius is back in confinement. We had a few local cases of COVID here, so the government's decided to shut everything down. This means that schools are back at home. You can only shop on certain days according to your surname, so alphabetically. Beaches are closed too, which is the worst possible outcome for me. Anyway, let's get back on with the vlog. What to do in Mauritius. Let's hope this all passes soon and we can all enjoy this beautiful island. Here we go, coming up. These are my top tips. These are all things that you can do very easily on the island and they are absolutely my must do list. So number one, go and visit a market. There are many around the island, but I think the most iconic by far is Central Market in Port Louis. This sells fruit and veg, Chinese herbal medicines and also souvenirs. But because of COVID, most of the souvenir shops are closed. While you're in Port Louis as well, it would be fantastic and a great tip from me would be to walk around because there are some amazing old buildings, lots of old cobbledy roads, and also to check out the hustle and bustle of this old city, the capital of Mauritius. My next tip is to climb a mountain and my two favorites are Le Mans and La Torelle in Tamarin. They're both pretty technical. Quite interesting little ropey section to get up to the top. But once you get to the top, the views are absolutely spectacular. We're on top of the world. You want to go early in the morning to beat the heat. Watch out for those rainy days because it can be pretty slippery. And if you want, you can take a guide, especially for Le Mans. But honestly, you can also do it by yourself. Ooh, this is the hectic part. Awesome. <sighs> so those hiking trails are a must. Next on the list would be dolphin and whale watching. This for me is one of my favorite things to do for sure. If you get up very early in the morning, they're usually around in Tamarin Bay. And I like to go for the eco-friendly way. So I like to either take a sup or a kayak, but of course you can take a boat as well. This really is truly one of those experiences that you will never experience again. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity here in Mauritius. You gotta do it. My next tip is to take a boat or a catamaran and there are many trips on offer here on the island. So my two favourites are definitely taking a boat to Il Benitier on the southwest of Tamarin. And then up north, I love going to Sequin de Mer and Il Gabriel. Very accessible, very easy to organise. You just need to go on the internet and you'll find all the information right there. My next tip is to try out the local street food. Pretty much anywhere you go in Mauritius, you'll see these little camions or little stalls that sell min bouy or min frites or boulettes. Beef. Very good. These are a must taste and experience because they are the local authentic dishes here. You can also get samosas and I really, really love dolpori. That is the national dish of Mauritius. And that's a split pea wrap. Brilliant stuff. If you're an ocean lover like me, my next tip is to grab yourself a mask and some flippers and go snorkeling. 
I've got three top spots that I love. La Preneuse Paradis Hotel in Le Mans and also Flick on Flack. They are all exceptional places to go. Very easy snorkeling. You can literally dive straight off the beach. Great for the kids, great for the whole family and you are guaranteed to see lots of marine life. This time of the year is great as well because the water is really warm, it's about 28 to 30 degrees and you're guaranteed to see lots of different fish species and just general marine life. I love it. And if you want to get away from it all, the next place I highly recommend is taking a drive from Le Mans along to Belombe, Pomponette onwards to uh, Gris Gris and then La Cambuse, which is right near the airport. This is the most unspoilt, untouched part of the island. So go and check that out. The drive is also really beautiful. You go through little fishing villages and it's really scenic. Love it. My next tip would be to go and check out a waterfall. There are so many in Mauritius, but probably the most accessible and the most iconic would be Chamarel. This is really easy to get to. You can either walk straight to the viewpoint, uh, which most people do. You can go there with your family very easily, or you can take a guide and you can go all the way down to the bottom. It's a bit more of a hike. While you're here, it's also worth checking out the seven colored earth. In fact, if you buy a ticket at the gate, it gives you access to both the Chamarel waterfall and the Seven Coloured Earth. And they're open from 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. So that's a little guide for you what to do in Mauritius, whether you're a tourist or you live here. These are things that I do on a regular basis because I love doing them so much. Anyway, let me know down in the comments if there are other things that you would like to see on the island. In this vlog today, I couldn't fit everything, but I will be sure to do another one on other great places to visit on the island. Please remember to try and do your bit so that we can get back to some sort of a normal life again where we can all see our family members and travel and have school in school and work from work and all these things, go to the beach. Um, it's so important. But anyway, stay safe and thanks for watching and check you on the other side. Apologize for my hat. It kind of got sat on a bit, but it is so hot out here.